when we uh, come in last night, we were unloading logs, and then we were gonna go switch out that flat trailer with the uh, pup trailer, because the logs are starting to really accumulate. And uh, didn't want to shift. His picker truck didn't want to shift. Like when I pulled him up, it didn't want to go in gear. And then he would said it was real hard to push a clutch pedal. And when we got over there, he had like no clutch pedal, but it was super stiff. I don't know. So I guess we're going to be pulling a transmission because everywhere else is two weeks out before they can even start on it then it, you know it's going to be another two weeks after that so a month of cutting trees would just be piles and piles of logs and we wouldn't be able to move the skitter when we're done so i think we're going to bite the bullet and do it ourselves holy moly i'm so excited he had a doctor's appointment this morning so it's 10:30. He should probably already be there. I'm gonna have to fix the baler because I think in between we're gonna bail that last 50 acres. And it's the axle's trying to fall off of it, so I gotta fix it and have it ready to go. But anyway, that's today. Welcome to the fastest growing, award winning, certified, bona fide, verified reality series on the internet. On the internet. Yeah, boy. We put the real Before we get into all that, we got to check on these tomatoes. Chicken's almost famous for his tomatoes. I unplugged the electric step up there and turn that valve together. Got it. Other way. Oh. Uh -huh. It's been raining for like 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm trying to say it's fucking it up. It's dry. Well, at least they're getting something, though. Yeah. Let it damp the ground up. They look good. Oh, there's a dark red one right there. This is around the other side where he's getting the water to supply it. That's all. Okay. See the yellow bucket? See that wood but log? Yeah. The bucket's right there with the hoses in it. Oh. So I expect it stuck full of that, that moss. moss. It's how come it quit pumping real fast. Huh. But see this over here, see, uh, all the way through here, I got four or five foot deep. There's water there. Yeah, they, well, they, well that's why I couldn't get over it because it was too muddy. And yeah. Thing. That's where I needed to dug though, was over there where I could have that deep enough that you could have sunk that down in there in that moss, the vacuum might have pulled it over top, but it wouldn't have pulled it down that deep. See, where it is, the, well, you know, the water's about that deep yeah. going in that bucket. Yeah, and, and then once that shit stuck in there around it, huh. then once that metal deal on that thing gets full, it won't suck much more water. But I'll have to get my rubber boots on later and wade back out there. I think I just get barefoot and shorts. Go. No. Maybe <laughs> later it gets hot, I might. Son of a son of a baler. So we'll get the baler back then here to where we can get the welder to it. And if you look at the right wheel, how it's towed in, we're going to try to straighten that up a little bit. Again. Probably not for a while. 
hope I don't need it no more. Throw it away? Yeah, you can have it. So he's torched out all the old welds, factory welds, and everything. And I've got a ratchet boomer under there and some chain. And if you watch, I'll suck the wheel in and it'll straighten back up. You gotta look real hard. Fixing to do some welding. Here's a little life hack. Keep the package your welding helmet comes in. You've got a uh, pretty good uh, dust protector. Oh, I gotta go bike. Yeah, just a, I think a little uh, greasy in there because it's hot. So don't dump it. No, I just, or don't flop it over, I guess. For me. I like to keep my tip cleaned out and keep dip on it. Keeps that stuff from piling up in there and messing up your weld. So I re-welded all the factory welds where they were and we put a gusset in there to strengthen it up and hopefully it'll hold. I give it a tail light warranty. Once I see your tail lights, warranty's over. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.